Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Joanne Timbuong. Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Sri Najib Tun Razak says Barisan National now commands the majority to form the state government in Perak. Saya ingin memaklumkan bahawa Barisan Nasional Perak kini mempunyai majoriti ahli dewan negeri untuk menubuhkan kerajaan. He says this is possible with the return of Bota Assemblyman Datun Nasaruddin Hashim and the support of three independents, Behrang Assemblyman Jamaluddin Mohamad Radzi, Changkat Jering Assemblyman Mohamad Osman Mohamad Jailu, DAP's Jelapang Assemblyman and Perak State Assembly Deputy, Deputy Speaker He Yit Fong under the Barisan Fold. Najib says he will be seeking an audience with Sultan Adlan Shah in a day or two to inform him of Barisan's ability to form the new state government. Meanwhile, Perak Menteri Besar Datuk Sri Muhammad Nizar Jamaluddin told reporters after an audience with Sultan Azlan Shah that it was up to the Sultan to choose whether or not to dissolve the state assembly. Earlier today, the Perak government officially declared that Jamaluddin Mohamad Razi and Mohamad Osman Mohamad Jailu are no longer the state assemblymen for Berang and Changkat Jering. Perak Legislative Assembly Speaker V. Sivakumar says he rejected the Election Commission's decision, refusing to call for by-elections in both constituencies. He says that as the Speaker, he has the absolute power to determine if the seats are vacated and he stands by his decision. More than 18,000 individuals had been slapped with fines amounting to 2.8 million ringgit last year for failing to prevent their premises from becoming a mosquito breeding ground. Health Minister Dr. Liao Tiong Lai says out of the total, close to 800 have been taken to court for further action. He says house owners could face a fine of 100 ringgit, while business premises and building owners could face up to 300 ringgit or maximum of 5,000 ringgit. The ministry would also step up enforcement and take stern action against offenders. As preparation for the upcoming Taipusam Festival draws near, police are already into coordinating stringent security measures. Gombak Police Chief Abdul Rahim Abdullah advises devotees and those visiting the site to take note of the road blockages and use the public transportation as much as possible. He also advises them not to wear expensive jewellery and to be extra careful with their belongings. The Taipusam chariot will leave the Sri Maha Mariamman Temple on Saturday. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Joanne Timbong. Thanks for watching.